The work continues now in Turkey and Syria to find people trapped alive in that rubble after that devastating earthquake and continued aftershocks. Five-year-old girl pulled alive today. Still, the number of people killed is climbing quickly. At least 7,000 people have died after Monday's quake. Rescue teams from over a dozen countries already in Turkey helping out, and more are on the way. Rick Sounder joins us live tonight in Centennial at the international headquarters of Project Cure. And Rick, medical supplies from Colorado we know are going to be shipped there to those impacted areas. Yes, Karen, this is one of several warehouses that Project Cure has around the country, filled to the brim with medical supplies ready to go at a moment's notice. Right now, the immediate need is in Turkey and Syria. From this building in Centennial, lives will be saved in the earthquake-stricken area. A warehouse filled with medical supplies donated by hospitals, manufacturers, and others. One of the things that happens in an earthquake is all of the dust and the bacteria is released. And so things like N95 masks that were important for us here are now going to be important for those people there. This place is filled with gloves, respirators, wheelchairs, surgical instruments, and much more. An earlier shipment to the region got held up, Doug Jackson told his volunteers. They were supposed to go to Turkey, and they got stuck in Southampton, England. Well, guess when those got delivered? Yesterday. Oh, wow. Wow. That was when the earthquake struck. It killed scores of people in Turkey and Syria instantly, injured others, and still more were trapped inside collapsed buildings. The Project Cure shipment became the first to arrive from outside. I like to be able to say that I've done something at the end of the day, and I feel like this is a really worthwhile cause. My mom and dad started Project Cure in their garage in Evergreen, Colorado. My dad was a real estate developer, made a lot of money, figured out that you can be rich and not happy. Since then, Project Cure has served 138 countries. When a disaster hits, they are ready. This organization says they need more volunteers to help get all these items to their needed destinations. Live in Centennial, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Just incredible work they do there, Rick. Thank you.